I don't know why a lot of people thought this career mode was over. Second in the table, only two points behind Chelsea, and guess what? Nobody has a game in hand, and our next game is against Chelsea. This is going to get interesting now. Six goals for Lionel Messi. We've got six goals for Harry Kane. We've also got four goals for Anthony Martial. We've also got three goals for Dibby Dybala. I want to see more. If it wasn't for Eden Hazard, we literally would have took all five top spots for assist king of the season so far. I want to see more from the team, boys. I want to see more. If you guys want to see more you know what to do smash out the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new turn on those post notifications and also go box that come for that's bros like gaming you guys want to donate for free yeah free running out of breath Woo! but as always welcome back to the manchester united career mode Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to Bros. Got Game. This is Boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that Manchester United career mode. And as you guys know, if you don't know, then get to know. We actually started a brand spanking new Chelsea series really recently. I mean, it was like three days ago, I think we do it as a live stream series and then cut it down into highlights so you guys can see it as a video if you don't catch that live stream. We do stream at 6 p.m. Usually not on a Monday or Tuesday unless obviously there's a game. We'll stream on Monday and Tuesday as well, but that is usually my days off. As you can see, that is the first team. That first team is looking absolutely crazy. If we could do something like that in the new career modes, that would be mad, boys. But look at the team. we got Harry Kane, Martial, Lionel Messi, Dibby Dybala, the same team that you guys saw for the first team in the last one however little changes to the bench William makes his way onto the bench we've also got Milankovic, Savage and Rojo on there now couple of players that I was thinking of selling and I'm going to let you guys know in this very career mode couple of players I want to bring in as well and we're going to talk about that later on in the episode so stay tuned for that first off let's get Chelsea they get kickoff we're at Old Trafford and Chelsea get kickoff I wanted to start off well I wanted to get a kickoff and hopefully get a goal straight from it oh we can still do that as we win the tackle, play that one forward into the middle. Dibby. Dibby Dybala will lay that one after Lionel Messi. Still Messi. Cuts it. Crosses it. Harry Kane and he's straight at Couture. Not enough power behind it. Here comes the corner from Chelsea. Don't want to see what we saw in the Chelsea career mode with players rolling it around their neck after the corner. De Gea picks that one up easily. We'll play that one out wide real quick. Here we go. Kimmich play that ball now. There is the space. Lionel Messi's running into it. Here we go, Lionel, cuts inside, Lionel, Messi, oh my god, what a save. How has he saved that? Courtois, the Belgian beast, has made a beautiful save. It's a quick reflex save as well. Corner at Manchester United, this is end-to-end -end stuff, boys. Straight towards that near post, towards the penalty area. Backed up to Anthony. Anthony Martial to Dabala. Here's Casemiro with a long shot. We know he's got that in his arsenal, boys. Puts it wide, though. Pedro. Backed up to Florenzi. They've made some decent signings at Chelsea. Here's Morata into Kante. Back to Morata. Oh, Morata. Morata into the middle. Hazard. Oh, side netting. We could go towards the middle. We have got a little bit of height in there. I'm going to play the short one, though, for Poggy. Into Varane. Back to Pogba. Little touch in. Darbala. Oh, on his right foot. Looks to the, the far post. And it's a header from Martial. I was going to say the near post. But Anthony Martial makes it 1-0 Manchester United. And we cannot rely on any other player to do the job. But Anthony Martial this season. Wow, Messi is doing it as well. They're both literally going neck and neck for the most goals and most assists this season. Darbala gets himself another assist. Martial with another goal. We are on fire, boys. Absolute fire. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Varane. Bring that ball forward for me into the middle. Casemiro to Pogba. All the space for Harry Kane. Plays it out to Lionel. Back into Harry. Oh, the space on the left. Uh, the left. Yeah, the left. Martial. Oh, it's a near post save for Couture. Corner at Manchester United. Where are we going with it? Should we look towards that near post? We've got the heading ability in there. It's headed in. Oh, my God. It nearly crept in. Couture had to just tip it over. He had to play it safe just in case it wasn't going over the bar. I, I believe it wasn't. That was definitely going in. It's a looping header from Harry Kane. What a save. And where are we going now, boys? Towards the poor Poggy. Towards the penalty area. Dybala's up for it. And it's straight at Couture again. Couture has got such good position. It's unreal. Come on, boys. Take it off him. No, don't let him through. Marcus Alonso. Varane's been dragged out towards him. Kimmich trying to cover up as well on the right hand side. They've played it into the centre. Poggy coming and Poggy will steal it. And here go Manchester United on the counter attack. We've got five players forward now. Harry Kane through the middle. Harry Kane is off his trot, mate. It's Harry Kane. How has he saved that? Thibaut Courtois has been keeping out so many chances that we've had in this game. Gotta say, no wonder they're first in the league. Casemiro, bring it forward, Paul Poggy. 
Paul Pogge plays it out wide to Lionel. Into Dybala. I'm just going to hold up the play for a second. Casemiro. Back to Dybala. Dybala! Oh my god, what a goal that would have been. Lionel Messi was never winning a heading competition against PK. But Dybala with a very, very good shot. Nearly put it into the far corner. What a save from Thibaut Courtois again. Thibaut Courtois is going to boot the ball out. That should fall to one of my players. It does. And here go Man United. Lovely little touch on from Paul Pogba. Catch you later as well. Oh, maybe not. He's actually read me turning there. Play that into the middle. Dybala looks forward. Dybala might retrieve the ball again. Nearly. Paul Pogba picks it up. Into the middle. And it's a goal. Somehow it's made its way past the book as well. We haven't gone for power, which we've been doing for a lot of the goals, or a lot of shots even. And Timber Couture keeps saving them, so I've gone for a little bit of finesse. Lionel Messi's put it exactly where he wants it, and that is right into the bottom left hand corner. What a finish from the main man at Manchester United right now, Lionel Messi. Well, it's between him and Martial, like I said, they're both playing good. Marcus Alonso. Oh no, no, no. Could save the hair. Nice and strong from the Spanish man, Florenzi. Trying to take on Paul Pogba. He gets it into the middle, out of the way. Get it out of there, man. De Gea with the save and off the line as well from Kimmich. Whew. So close, boys. Casimero looks forward and he won't find anyone but Kante and it should probably go to full time here. Yeah? There it is, full time whistle blown. We've picked up the win, picked up the three points, exactly what we needed against Chelsea. We went out there, done the job and we were at home as well. There you go, Man United fans. What you've been longing to see, Man United football. The at least transfer talk's broken down. Are you actually serious, boys? I did want to talk about transfers today, so we will be talking about them. But I wanted him to go to Nottingham Forest. He needed to go to Nottingham Forest. We need him and Wilson to be sold. And they're just not leaving at the moment. The squad depth that we possess is actually crazy. As you can see, a full second team out there. And the second team looks just as good as the first team. We do play Darbala as well because he's been having some good Champions League games. Obviously got an assist in the last game as well. Matter is on the bench just in case we need him because of his stamina issue at the moment. Also, William Rashford and Sanchez start up top. Not bad for a front three for a second team. We've got Milankovic, Savage and Herrera in the middle. Lindo and Rojo at the back. Fosu Mensa is probably my weak point at the moment. We could use a backup right back. I like to play him in the CDM role, but you know what it is. I want to give Herrera some football as well. Donna Rubber returns to the squad. Other than that, literally no changes to the squad, boys. Just Dybala survives from the last team. I want to see a good game. We're 10 points up anyway, and I think second in our table, or group, is six points. We could literally take a loss. I don't want to see it, but we could definitely take it. Let's go beat Real Sociedad. Good tackle. Keep the ball, boys. Oh, Dabala will get in there. Play that one back a little bit. And Herrera. Play forward. Dabala's making the run forward. Oh, we will take it. Alexis Sanchez. 1-0 Manchester United. And Alexis Sanchez puts his name back on the score sheet. I know a lot of people wanted to see Alexis play more. I am now playing. I mean, I'm getting some Champions League like football getting some Champions League experience as well under a Manchester United team and he scored a goal for us thank you very much Alexis I appreciate you Yanazai the former Manchester United man Adnan bursting forward gets that Rojo Rojo's too good though we saw what Rojo could do he did obviously give away a penalty and get red carded in the last Champions League game but I'm giving him the chance back in it because he has been good other than that challenge as well Rashford oh that's the overlapping run oh it was so good up until the finish so good for the pass even. I want to get it forward. I do not like the ball being in my own half. There you go. Out of my own half. We're all good, boys. I was just getting a little stressed, you know. A little bit frustrated as we move forward through their defence like they're not even there. Here's Rashford. Oh, what a turn. Marcus Rashford. What a save as well for the goalkeeper. Equally just as good as the turn from Rashford. And we'll take a throw. Adnan Yanazai against his former club. Adnan. William takes it away from him. William's also got support there. We'll play that one short. It's Rashford! Oh my god! I told you this kid has got a bullet of a shot on him. He's done it once again. He was doing it so much in the last episode. He's done it again, the Englishman. Marcus Rashford is an absolute revelation under my management. Don't get me don't get me wrong. He's a good player. He's getting better as he improves in real life. Playing less games and getting more goals and more assists than last season. But under my management. I don't know what it is with him, but he just he makes the right runs, he gets into the right position, and his shot is unbelievable. What a bullet. Farah tries to get it past two men. He was never getting it past them there. Played it out to Rashford. Darbala's making a run through the middle. It's Dibby. It's Dibby Darbala. How have I missed that one? 
That should be 3 0. I've missed a good opportunity there. Don't let them have a goal. I do not want to have let them have a goal. I want to literally have a clean sheet, boys. Gonchalo looks out wide. Here goes Rashford. Cuts his side, still Rashford, oh, he's touched his hand, boys. I'm going to go ahead and claim it. He's touched his hand as he slid across the floor there. Wellington is going to go for the long throw. I saw him going for it. I tried to get my player back there. We do win the ball anyway. Given away carelessly. Oh, the ball is on. What is that, Rashford? The ball was straight onto Gonchalo. He wins the ball back anyway. Gonchalo Godes running away with it. Shielding off the ball well. Gonchalo, catch you later, son. Gonchalo whips in a good cross. Hit it. Oh, my God, off the post. Whew. What a cross from Gonchalo. What a touch as well from the midfielder, I believe. Play that one back. And uh, Herrera with a shot and it's gone over the bar right at the end of the game. And after this goal kick, he's probably going to call it off for full time as well. Probably should have called it straight after the shot was taken. He's looped that one forward. Oh, we've won the header. Are we going to get another chance? Here goes Rashford. Rashford into the middle. Oh, that's a bad pass. He's going to blow it up for full time as well. 2-0 on the night once again. Not a convincing win. I would have preferred to win a little bit more convincing, especially as we won against Chelsea so well. But it is a second team. And like I said, we had a load of players in there that we wouldn't usually play it as well. Fosu Mensah was my weak point. Actually, my strong point in this game. I saw him making a lot more tackles than he usually does make. So hats off to Fosu Mensah. Hats off to Rashi Rashford. And hats off to the whole team. Let me just jump in mid-video real quick i want to do shout out of the day and today's shout out of the day goes out to my boy jack ashcroft who hit me up on snapchat if you guys want to be in for that shout out of the day all you have to do is add me on snapchat follow me on instagram or follow me on twitter any one of your social medias of your choice and be active on that social media as soon as i see you or as much as i see you you will be that random shout out of the day all right there's a list going on so make sure you're in there like swimwear add me up real quick let's get it my role at the club anthony what do you mean you've been playing so much what do you mean you expected a bigger role? What is this guy on? Emre Moore, uh, uh, okay, he does deserve a little bit more football. And Rojo says thanks as well. Player of the month, Lionel Messi. Not a bad little trophy to add to your cabinet, Lionel Messi. Player of the month in the Premier League. That is not bad for someone who say, they say, won't make it in the Premier League. And the first team is looking as fit as a cucumber, if you could call a cucumber fit. We have Watford in the next game in the Premier League. And I did say I want to talk about transfers. We will talk about it after this game all right at the end of the episode i talk about transfers because there's one player that you guys want to see i want to see and this could be the team that literally is rounded off from this player so if you do want to see him then let me know in the comments down below after i mention his name at the end of the episode he will be coming up but before that watford let's get it ah good tackle don't know what Varane's doing so far up the pitch, but I will take it as long as he whips in a good cross, which he does, and Lionel Messi with a beautiful finish on the volley, and he puts it past the goalkeeper at Watford. What a cross from Varane, by the way. Can we all just take a minute's silence to literally appreciate Rafael Varane's amazing cross? You could play that guy as a left winger and you wouldn't notice he was a centre-back. What? That was a beautiful cross. Getting away with this way too easily. Kimmich takes the ball off him. Says, you know what? Enough is enough. And they still win it back. He's playing good for them. He's trying to prove himself to the Manchester United as well. Ay ay ay. Corner at Watford after that deflection as well. They're going to whip one in from Andreas Pereira. Headed in off the line from Alexandro. Get that one out of there, boys. Dibby Darbala will head that away for a throw. But that was close. Here come Watford. They're trying to put that pressure on us. Into the middle. Bellarabi, is he going to get past me? Still Bellarabi. Oh, no. No. Oh, God, off the post. Off the bar and the post. Literally the corner of the woodwork. Get that out of there. Are we going to get a counter going, boys? God, oh, come on. Here we go down the left-hand side. Play that into the centre. Harry Kane. Harry Kane will back that up for a pog boom from distance. Made the save there, the goalkeeper. Luckily for him, it was at his height. Otherwise, that would have been literally rustling in the top corner. Shall I put this at the near post, boys? That's what I'm thinking. We're going to go towards the near post. Or the penalty area, even. Into the middle. Varane with the volley. I'm telling you, Varane thinks he's a striker. He thinks he's a winger. He thinks he's something, but not a centre-back. Probably going to bring in Rashford after the corner. Harry Kane does offer a little bit more height. Then Rashford does. It's not going to go towards him anyway. What a header. What a save again for the Watford keeper. Kimmich. Looks forward. What a ball that is. Lovely weighted pass. Alexis Sanchez. We've got Kimmich overlapping. And we've got the run from Rashford. I told you this is what he offers. That run. Marcus Rashford into Martial off the post. Oh, it's such good football. Such quick good football. And Anthony Martial hits the post with the last chance. Last touch of the move. And he can't put it in. We'll go again though. 
Here's Alexis. Turns his man. Alexis Sanchez. We're going to go for a long shot. He's deflected for a corner. Watford corner now. They're going to get that straight into the middle. Headed away by Man United. And they've only got one back for Watford. Alexis Sanchez testing him. Alexis Sanchez plays that out wide as well. We've got the pace to get forward. It's Marcus Rashford. And he's putting it over the bar. Oh, my God. I went for the driven shot. I double tapped the bloody B button. And I've put it over the bar. Wow. Can we go again, boys? Can we get another chance to make it 3 2 nils out of three games? Played it out wide. Alexis Sanchez looks towards the middle. There you go. Dimi Darbana runs onto the loose ball in the box. Makes it 2 0 Manchester United. And we get the 2 2, the 3 2 nils out of the game. We get literally an aggregate score of 6 0 over three games, boys. That is what I want to see. Come on. Four goals for him in the Prem round. Phil Jonesy. In a Watford shirt, it does look a little bit weird, but it looks realistic, you know what I mean? It just isn't Man United quality. Are we going to get a third? No, we're not going to get a third. Chalabur cuts that one out way too easily. Please blow that whistle, ref, before they get a chance to equalise. Not equalise, to score. Here come Watford. Are they going to get a goal right before full time? Kimmich away. And we get in the way of that player as well. It's going to give a free kick away. Probably shouldn't have been. He could have called a pen right there. It was on the edge of the box. Oh, it's gone to full time. I thought he was giving a free kick away. Okay, we'll take that, boys. 16 shots to their six. Decent victory. Decent win. Decent performance. And we pick up a 9.4 for Varane. Lovely little assist from him. Let's not forget that. Brighton beat Arsenal 2-1. That is realistic, boys. That is what you call realism. We do have Arsenal coming up in the Carabao Cup final, which could be a really hard game to play at our home stadium, I believe, as well. We're going to go ahead and put a press comp. No, it's at their home stadium. Wow, we're going to put press conference in and praise our team anyway because we've been playing good. Brereton wants a bit more football. We'll be seeing him a little bit more. As you guys know, I like to give young players a chance. If we can get more football and play well, then we will be seeing that. But as you guys know, I've been talking about a transfer that I want to make happen. Now, looking at the top transfers this season, we are involved in a lot of them. You can see Darbala joined us, Lukaku went, Asensio went, Harry Kane came. Isco went to Tottenham. Actually in bad form, I believe, right now as well. Yep, bad form for Tottenham. Could be looking at Isco. Balotti and um, Angel, you, know, you know what I mean. But there's Man United transfers. Bellerin moved to Real Madrid. That's weird. William, Milankovic, Kimmich. Just so many top transfers literally taken over by Manchester United. I'm willing to smash all of that out of the park for this one player, boys. And this one player is Neymar. Now, if we bring Neymar to the club, that would be a massive marquee signing for Manchester United. It would be the probably the biggest transfer of the career mode. He's only 23, 23, 26 years of age, 93 overall. He's got time to improve as well. So we could make him the best player in the world in this very career mode. However, we do not have the money which literally could bring him to the club, which does mean we're going to have to sell players on as well. So I, I'm going to have to show you guys the squad before we end this very episode. You can see Martial, maybe we move him on. I don't want to move him on. Dybala, are we going to move him on as soon as he's literally joined the club? Are we going to move on Paul Pogba? Casemiro now on at 87, he's worth a little bit of money. Alexandro, we've got Rashford, we've got Alexis Sanchez, we've got players like Thomas Lamar who doesn't get, get much football. We've got Juan Mata who doesn't get much football do we move on what we would call the dead wood the latter of the squad boys let me know in the comment section down below but for now it has been me you guys have been great as always smash out the like button down below subscribe to the channel um, down below as well just coincidentally turn on your post notifications as well teddy is my shout out of the day today and teddy says i just donated 25 cents through gore box appreciate that bro you know what it is gorebox.com forward slash bros that game if you guys want to donate for free yeah free it has been me. You guys have been great. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.